Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. Now today I've got a new series for you guys that I did have on my old channel, which I've decided to bring onto this channel because I thought it was a pretty good idea and it did do fairly well on my old channel, so I thought I would bring it back. Um, pretty much all the idea is, is I pick a certain player that is either low rated or has pretty good stats for his rating and doesn't go for like a, that much coin, say like it's sub 1k, like under 1k, or uh, maybe under 2k, fairly cheap and fairly uh, not very well known. And the first player we've got for this episode is the Colombian striker who plays in the Colombian league, I think. Yeah, he plays in the Colombian league for uh, Manarcas Morela, who uh, actually have a really nice badge. I might actually have to pick that up. It looks really, really nice. But uh, he kind of took out his card though. He's got 88 pace, 68 shooting, 73 dribbling. He hasn't got the best dribbling, but um, I did actually do Quero on FIFA 15 and he was a really, really nice card. So I did think I, would, I, I did um, want to do Quero first just to see how he is compared to his FIFA 15 card. Uh, his FIFA 15 card for me was really, really good. Uh, as you can see, there, he's got fast ass skill moves as well, which is also pretty nice. Really agile player. He's only five. Uh, he's five foot nine as well, so he's not really going to be good in the air. But 88 pace, 73 dribbling, pretty decent as well. So uh, he looks like a, he looks like he can be a really really good card. And for 450 coins as well, you can get him into like a Colombian team or a Colombian league team, or maybe even try and hybrid him up. Would be pretty interesting. But I've just got him in a standard silver league, uh, silver Colombian team, um, which cost under 10k. I think it was actually surprisingly cheap considering the. Uh, the most players in his team are pretty solid. I mean, you've got like 90 pace fullbacks, you know, fairly decent 70s pace uh, centre backs. So, a really, really solid team that managed to get him in. So, uh, that was pretty good. But uh, yeah, we're just going to jump into the review of Jefferson Quero and uh, see how he actually plays in. So, getting into Jefferson Quero's card and how he actually plays in game. Now, in terms of stats, he's got some really, really good physical stats. The rest are kind of average, to be honest. He's shooting, he's finishing 68, which is, I guess, it's okay for a silver. But it's not anything out of this world, but it is the physical stats of Jefferson Guerrero really stood out for me in 86 agility, 90 sprint speed, 89 stamina, and 85 acceleration. Looks like it could be a really, really good card. Unfortunately, his finishing on paper, stats wise, isn't amazing. But um, I was hoping maybe he could prove me wrong. There's some players who don't have great stats, but yet they prove you wrong. That is silvers for you. Stats might not be amazing, but they can play really, really good in game. Now, um, getting into the pros and cons out, Jefferson Guerrero for me was a really, really weird card because. In the first three games, I was already going. To, I was just going to do three games with this card, and after them three games, his pace didn't feel up there, his finishing didn't feel up there, and he just felt really, really sluggish on the ball. Now, I would put this all down in, in the cons just for this um, episode and this review of Jefferson Quero, but I decided to play a fourth match after this three. After these three games, I was um, ready to do this voiceover, and I was ready to just completely slag off this guy and say how awful he was, and recommend you not to buy him. Now, I'm not going to go say to you that you should go out and buy him, but in the fourth game I did, I switched it out completely on my whole bench, put a silver bench in because I thought, you know, maybe handicap could come into play, something like that, because silver teams, they normally are uh, handicap, they're relying on handicap. So I decided to put a silver bench in. Now, in the fourth game with Jefferson Quero, after the three games I did, he did absolutely awful. The fourth game, I have to say, he scored four goals in one match. I think that just says it all. He's finishing feel a lot better, a lot better. He seemed to finish a lot, be e like chances easier. He's even in fact in the three games he didn't score any goals. So like, yeah, the fourth goal, the fourth game, he did a lot better. Uh, his pace, he feels really, really fast on the ball. His dribbling still wasn't great. Um, I think his dribbling is like 73 or something. So I wouldn't recommend dribbling with this guy. But just literally, if you have a silver bench, play it through to him, and he will run onto it. And in, if if you have a silver bench, I'm sure at nine times out of ten he will score. Now, would I recommend you go out and buy this Jefferson Quero card? It's difficult to really say, to be honest, just because of the fact that after, out of the first three games, he really didn't look great. I would be very hesitant to say you should go out and buy him. And for this reason, I am only only can't get my words out. <laughs> only going to give Jefferson Quero a six out of a six point five out of ten. If he played like he did in the fourth and the fifth game in the first three games, I will be tempted to give this guy a nine point zero or a nine point five even. But he just wasn't consistent enough. The first three games, to put it bluntly, he was really, really bad. So it's difficult really to say whether he was any good. I could have played a few more matches, but to be honest, I didn't have enough time to do that and then play, get this video out for you guys as quick as possible. So if you have enjoyed this video, then be sure to hit the like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See you later.